What's up, guys? Steven Ducks here. Uh, I've been getting a lot of questions, and a lot of uh, people wants me to do a couple of months uh, my monthly performance. Um, I have made uh, around eight hundred thousand uh, in about four months, and as you can see, my trades they're all verified, so uh, none of those are fake or anything. And I want to give my thought process on all my big gains and <clears throat> some of my losses. And give you guys a brief idea how to uh, really day trade and why you need to stay away. So let's get started with my biggest scan on GERN. And for most of the stocks, uh, typically they don't go over 300% or 500% in a couple of days. Now, if you think it's a really it's a really good business. And it generally takes them years to go up five year, uh, five hundred percent, or maybe even a thousand percent. But it takes time. So when those uh, uptrending happens in a couple of days, there's going to be some kind of pullback. Now, uh, how hard it will pull back? It really depends on the company's fundamentals. So you have to know how much money does this this company make. Uh, what's their long-term investments, what's their short-term investments, what's their uh, liabilities or assets. Uh, basically, you have to, need to judge uh, where's, what's the company positions right now and does it worth this much. Now, that's all the fundamental stuff. But when you are, but you know when the stock is going up 500% in a couple of days, there's then and most of the stock I'm trading will be penny stocks. Penny stocks is the stock under $5. So when they pull back, they generally pull back 70%, sometimes even 100%. So uh, the only thing you need to recognize is where's the downtrend uh, momentum, where it's going to be. And uh, to judge where it's going to be, that takes market experience and also takes a uh, massive amount of practice and studying. So here I want to go over it with my entries, my exit, and uh, I think my entry was uh, 520 and I cover around $4 ish. Uh, it, I, I didn't do perfect and it went down all the way to 350, but I did take my gains and, uh, uh I think I, uh, that's, that was my second try. My first try was shorting into the six, uh, 650 area and they covered into that 550. And, uh, now I shorted into second day because in, into the morning push. And turns out there's a negative uh, seeking offer article came out, and uh, uh, first red it typically doesn't drop that much, but I got a little lucky. Uh, so uh, it turns out to be a fifty thousand gain becomes a hundred twenty thousand dollar gain, and uh, that that is my biggest gain of the year. Uh, I love this trade, and this trade was made perfectly. And uh, my execution, I think, was all right. Uh, I didn't cut the dead bottom. I didn't cut the dead top. Uh, but I take, but I, I took most of the chunk of this trade. So my thought process and my experience I need to give you is sometimes you just don't need to guess the top. You do need to guess the bottom. Now, as long as you can recognize the trend, you can most likely take most chunk of the trade and make a decent gain from it. And uh, on T and X, uh, this is another thing I want to talk about because when the stock is trading, let's say under right here is the, the volume, or right here is the stock price. The stock went from uh, 4 to 13 uh, in 7 million volume. Now, this stock went from 5 to 12 in 7 million volume. Now, volume means how many shares traded per day. And uh, when the stock trading on the same volume, all right, same thing, same type of price range, then they typically happens, uh, repeat the same thing. Uh, so when the stock dropped from 12 to 7, now I'm expecting this time, uh, stock dropped from 12 to 7 again. So uh, I took most chunk of this trade, I, uh, I think I, I did short it around, uh, I think it was 11 or, or 1080, cover into the high sevens or low eight. Uh, that was my $80,000 again. So 
from this trade is history tends to repeat itself and when they're trading the same criteria or same identical uh, places they most likely to go into repeat itself and they when they drop they're most likely to repeat it itself so you can learn from the first time and make action on the second time so you know how far it's going to drop try on the try it on the second time um, now that's exactly my thought process that was my eighty thousand dollar again and the grm was my hundred twenty thousand dollar again uh i think there's another one uh i think it was rkda um rkd and dxr um so RKD and DXR they are template plays. So when the when the one stock is spiking, people tends to find another same same industry uh, stock to buy as well. So this stock went from uh, three to sixty five, and uh, I did short it into this bounce and swing a little bit. Didn't have enough patience, but covered into the into the thirty s and. That was my sixty thousand dollar gain on the XR. I did recognize the momentum, and I didn't catch the dead bottom. I didn't catch the dead top, but it took the most chunk of the trade. So the key is to recognize where's the momentum, and if you see the history, the chart history, you can use that as your guidance to uh, make your decision again. Either it's gonna repeat itself, or it's gonna tr either it's gonna trade a completely different uh, volume or. Uh, it breaks the previous habits. Now, when the stock is breaking, uh, it's have completely different uh, criteria or completely different situation. Then, when they starting breaking the uh, st stop repeating the history by itself, that's where you need to uh, cut your losses. So uh, sometimes I do it well, sometimes I don't, um, but. In this game, you have to stay disciplined when the stock is making some weird actions or or uh, the history doesn't repeat itself anymore. When you see it, cut your losses immediately because this game, uh, all you need to do is to control your risk and recognize momentum. And that's how you uh, make 200,000 a month uh, I think my monthly performance was I think I, I made that around uh, six hundred thousand dollars in March, and I did have uh, ninety two thousand losses. So as you're, as long as your wins are not bigger than your losses, you are doing completely fine because you know every trade you cannot be a uh, oracle to know exactly what's going to happen, but studying and practice and market experience will give you a good idea um, to catch in those good trades and that's where you need to be so those are my biggest months uh, of my career and i'm really happy i did it um, i just want to share my experience because lots of people ask for it and what do i feel i don't really feel about uh, how much money i make uh, it, it's it's all about adapting into the game and recognize where you need to be. Um, I think that's for the video today. And uh, today I do. Uh, I also want to go over some uh, uh, plays that happened today. Um, ABGR. Uh, I think I did an overextended gap down pattern and. Uh, he worked out perfectly, and I do call all my trades in my chat room, uh, and I I will tell the chat room when did I when did I close the trade. I think everybody made money on ABGR. Um, there's some losses I want to talk about too. Uh, nobody's perfect, and I did short it around I think it was three ten and cover into the three thirty when this high starting breaking out, and it turns out to be uh. Uh, a desk drop uh, into the afternoon and because when this 315 cracked I didn't really want to chase because the, the stock is not up that much and oh now I'm regretting it but most of the time 
you're going to miss trades and it's going to be that one ticker you're going to miss it and you're going to feel it oh i missed this trade i want to make my uh the, the stock market owns me money and i want to make it back but uh, if you think like that you're uh, you're getting emotional when you're emotional involving your trades and you start losing money and you get more emotional and start losing more money so the more emotional you are the more the more money you will lose so in this game uh try to be rational and if you miss a trade just just miss it it's not it's not gonna be a big deal there's opportunity comes every single day uh, but yeah that's all my uh thought process for the day and my couple of monthly performance now if you're interested in the chat room i will put a link below uh, underneath my youtube video and uh thank you very much you guys have a great day